What happened, Spikey? You look surprised. Mrs. Coco, I visited this orchard a few weeks ago, and I remember that there were flowers growing here. Now there are fruits. What happened here? Nothing's happened. It's just a natural process through which flowers turn into fruits. That sounds amazing. Do flowers leave fruits? Like hens lay eggs? No, Spiky. After fertilization, the ovary of a flower develops into a fruit. What's fertilization? Fertilization is the fusion of male and female gametes that occurs in the ovule of a flower. Fertilization takes place in three steps the germination of pollen grains, zygote formation, and finally, embryo formation. Let's take a look at each step. The first step is the germination of pollen grains. After pollination, the pollen grains that are trapped by the stigma germinate. The pollen grows into a long pollen tube that extends down the style to enter the flower's ovary. Next, the nucleus of the pollen grain divides into two male gametes. Then, the pollen tube bursts and releases the male gametes inside the ovule. One of the male gametes fuses with a female gamete and forms a zygote. A zygote is a combination of a male and female gamete. The zygote divides many times before forming an embryo. An embryo is a baby plant that grows inside a seed. Finally, during the end of fertilization, the embryo is covered by a tough outer covering called a seed coat. Hmm, but it does not look like a fruit at all. You're right, Spikey. After fertilization, several changes take place in a flower. For instance, the flower's sepals, petals, and stamens dry up and fall off. Then, the ovules, which contain the embryo, develop into a seed. The ovary grows bigger and ripens into a fruit. The skin of the fruit, or the pericarp, develops from the walls of the ovary. At this point, the flower completely becomes a fruit. Did you know, many people think that tomatoes, brinjal, and cucumbers are vegetables, but they're actually fruits. Can you guess why? Because they develop from the ovary of a flower and contain seeds. Did you know that almonds, walnuts, and pistachios are seeds? This is why they have a thick, dry, and tough seed coat. Likewise, peanuts, Peas and beans are edible seeds enclosed in pods. Almost all flowering plants produce fruits, but not all their fruits are edible, such as the fruit of a sunflower. Let's summarize. Fertilization is the fusion of male and female gametes. After fertilization, a zygote is formed which grows bigger to form an embryo. Then, the flower undergoes several changes and the ovary develops into a fruit. As the ovary grows bigger, the ovules develop into seeds. 